Good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. Hope everyone had a wonderful President's Day yesterday. Uh, I'm Allison with Upright and Caffeinated. Thanks so much for joining me this morning. If you're joining live, let me know. Say hi so I know you're watching. And if you're watching on replay, thank you so much. And leave me a hashtag replay so that I know you saw this. Just going to grab my other egg. So I put a poll on my page yesterday and said, let me know what you want to do, eggs or houses. And uh, it looks like it was a like absolute tie, dead tie, 50-50. So, <laughs> so I decided um, that I would be the tiebreaker and decide that we're going to do eggs this morning. So this is what we're going to do this morning. We're going to do the egg cutouts. There are three of three um, three eggs come in one little pack. It comes in this little box. Um, these eggs are four inches. So these are they're four inch little eggs. They're super cute, but you get three of them to a little pack. They're just like whitewashed. They look super cute. And then with the transfer, uh, the transfer comes with four different, um, what do you call those, patterns. Now, you can use any of the chocolate Couture patterns. So if you wanted to do the Buffalo Checker, if you wanted to do the Polka Dot or the Herringbone or any of those, you could do that. You could also use the patterns from um, the pumpkins and maybe the Christmas trees. If the Christmas trees are wide enough in the center, you can maybe use those. So if you have the pumpkins or the Christmas trees and you like those patterns, you can absolutely use those. Good morning, Mom. Good morning, Glenda. Good morning, everyone. So we are going to use the egg patterns. Um, these are just so stinking cute. I love the way they look. Um, and so I can't wait to try these. You could even use the house patterns on these as well. Um, the house patterns would look cute on these too. And I'll show you those just because I have them sitting, they're just on the other side of my computer here. But let me let, like kind of put these down so you guys can see. These are the egg patterns. They are so cute here. We'll just do this. Okay, those are the egg patterns. Let me show you the house patterns. I actually love, love, love the house patterns. Like, look at that one and then this one. That is my absolute favorite. I love that one. Like, love it. So, I'm super excited to do that. But let's do some eggs this morning. All right. So, I think I'm going to do these three. I'm not going to do the little flower one. And we're going to use, we're going to use our new colors. So, we're going to use the pink grapefruit. The citrus splash. I haven't gotten the other three colors yet, just because they were um they were a little delayed when the products launched, so I couldn't order them until they actually hit the the internet <laughs> until they were available on Thursday or Friday, whatever day last week I placed another order. So that one's gonna have blue jay wisteria and um, spring zing. This is citrus splash and pink grapefruit, and then we're gonna do a little couture teal. So those are the colors we're gonna use this morning. Good morning, Lizette. Good morning, Sharon. Good morning, everyone. All right, I'm gonna grab my, my water here because I have a feeling I'm gonna need it for that teal. Um, I've had a lot of people asking about dried out paste, and I think, I think, <laughs> because like a lot of you who do this, you know, seasonally and change out your seasonal decor, some of your spring colors you probably have not used for a while. So um, I think what I'm going to do is a little video kind of showing how you can get those kind of dried out pastes back to working order, um, especially if they're like hard as a rock. And there is a little trick there. You can do it. Um, you use hot water and you just kind of put hot water in your jar paste and then let it sit for a minute and then dump it out and then keep doing that. But I think what I'll do is a little video showing you. I'm sure I have a jar of dried paste somewhere around here that I can show you. But for now, I am just going to stir this up. This is my pink grapefruit. And you guys, my pink grapefruit, I think, had gotten frozen in transit. But if you're, even if your paste gets frozen, it's totally, totally okay. If, if your paste is delivered frozen, um, which happens in the winter. Um, all you have to do, just make sure you bring it up to room temperature before you try to work it. Um, that's my biggest piece of advice is just make sure you, you know, leave it in your house for, for a day and let it come to room temperature. 
and then try to work it. But just add water and mix it, and it'll totally, totally be okay. And I am using distilled water. Um, if you caught me live yesterday, both boys were home because, of course, it was a holiday. So both boys, both dressed in the same Spider-Man pajamas, um, they, they joined me yesterday and we talked about using distilled water and we talked about how it's the same, the, the water that goes in dad's mask, his sleeping mask, because <laughs> my husband wears a CPAP at night and he uses distilled water in a CPAP. So it's the, uh, that same water. So it's great because I just, you know, fill up my little sprayer with my husband's CPAP water. All right. So yeah, this one, this one obviously did not get frozen. This one looks great. That looks fantastic. Oh, that is such a pretty color. So this is Citrus Splash. Look at that. So pretty. And then my Couture Teal. Okay, I've got to have an open Couture Teal somewhere. This one has not been open. Hang on. Let's see. I have paste everywhere. But I'm sure, oops, sorry. I'm sure I haven't opened one of these. Yep, there it is. All right. Here we go. Let's try this one. Yep, hard as a rock. Okay, so I will use this as my sample for showing you guys, but we are going to open the new one because I need to go into the sink. And we're not in my kitchen. We're in the dining room. So we are going to go ahead and open this. Brand new couture teal. That is lovely. All right. And this one's even a little hard too. I wonder how long I've had this. <laughs> even if it hasn't been open, sometimes it gets a little hard. Okay. So I've seen a lot of people do really creative things with these eggs. Um, I've seen some designers make them into like little bunnies where it's, um, you know, you put like little ears up there and you can, you know, make a little face on it. Super, super cute. I've seen some designers make little chicks out of them. All kinds of stuff, all kinds. So there's a lot of different things you could do with these little eggs. They don't have to just be eggs. But we are just doing eggs with them. So let's start off. We're going to start with this first one. We're going to do it in the pink grapefruit. And I'm just going to fuzz this because it's a brand new transfer. All right. And then just lay it right on top. And there you go. And then we're using the pink grapefruit. Now, I find it best to start in the middle and squeegee out whenever you're working with um, cutouts because the amount of um, the sticky part, the teal part of your transfer, there's not a whole lot of it. It's all hanging off on this outside. It's not stuck to anything. So start from the center and work your way out. And then you'll kind of ensure that your transfer is not gonna move. All right. Here we go. Oh my gosh, look how cute that is. That little pattern is adorable. Look at how cute that is. I just love it. All right, I'm gonna close up my pink grapefruit and then let's do a little, little citrus splash on this one. This almost kind of looks like, um, Peacock feathers, I think. That's what I think that one looks like. It looks like peacock feathers. Perfect. And again, I'm starting from the from the middle and just kind of working my way out. And if you're new to chalk couture, you do not have to squeegee in a particular direction. You can squeegee any direction you want. And that's one of the other things I love about it because there's really no, no set rules. All right. 
Oh, I bet that's going to be so pretty. Oh, yes. Look at that. Oh, that is beautiful. That is so pretty. I'm going to have to take pictures of this so you guys can see how vibrant these colors are because they really are beautiful. All right. And then the last one, we're going to use our Couture Teal. And my new order that I placed, like I said, Thursday or Friday, I think I placed it Friday. <laughs> but the new order, um, as soon as I get that, I'll show you those new colors, the Wisteria, the Spring Zing, and the Blue Jay. And I'll show you all those new colors. Because they look lovely, and I cannot wait to use them. <laughs> All right, this one has a huge silk screen area. So that means that the amount of teal that's going to stick to the egg, there's not much of it. So you definitely want to start from the center and work out to keep your, keep your transfer in place. And you can, you know, hold it with your finger if you're worried. Once you get some paste on it, it's going to stick. So once you get your paste on, like the bottom half, it should be just fine. There you go. All right. I had a lot of teal on there. And it's hard to tell when you've got the teal on the teal with the teal squeegee. <laughs> it's all the same color. <gasps> How pretty. You guys, this is way more fun than coloring Easter eggs with, you know, colored little tablets and vinegar solution. This is so much more fun. So much more fun. Let me tell you. Um, yeah, I think, I think that every group of girlfriends should get to together and do adult egg decorating. And instead of, you know, the hard boiled eggs in the vinegar solution, you should get a pack of these, share a transfer, you know, you can just wash these in between, have, you know, some coffee cake and some mimosas and have a little adult egg decorating party because this is so fun and it's so cute. Look at those. I love them, love them. I'm like addicted to this. I'm going to make a million eggs. I'm going to go order some more. Now, you can also do the backs too. Don't forget about the backs. Um, and, and you know what I did at, um, I don't know, some holiday. Oh, it was around, it was around Halloween. It was during the fall. I had my pumpkins and what I did is um, on my dining room table, I had like a table runner and then I had pumpkins scattered, you know, in between and they were decorated on both sides. So no matter where you sat around my dining room table, you were getting a view of a decorated pumpkin. So same thing with these eggs, um, you know, definitely decorate both sides. And then you can, like I said, set them in this as your centerpiece in your dining room table. And then no matter where you're sitting, you're getting a view of a decorated egg. So definitely do the backs of them. Good morning, Cece. Good morning. Good morning, Michelle. Oh, I'm so glad you guys like it and you love the colors. You're definitely going to do them for a making table. I would. I mean, it's so much fun. So much fun. Again, you get a box of three of these. And then there's four patterns on there. And like I said, if you already have patterns or if you have the pumpkin patterns, just have your girlfriends over and everybody do a set of eggs and you can mix and match the patterns. But even if you're, you know, if you're with your girlfriends, even if you're having to wash these in between each use, it's totally fine. You're, you know, again, have, have, have some snacks, have a mimosa, have some coffee <laughs> and just kind of enjoy your, enjoy your time together while you're crafting. But look at how cute. Yeah. This, um, citrus splash almost has a neon hint to it. It's almost neon. It's so bright and so pretty. I love it. But I'll take a really good picture. It's really overcast right now, but maybe when the sun comes out, I'll take a good picture so you guys can really see the true colors. Um, pink grapefruit is beautiful. And like I said the other day, I don't know what day it was when I went live and I showed you guys this. From the peony, it just has a little bit more orange in it. And it's really hard to tell. They're very, very, very similar. But it does have just a tiny bit more like orange to it. And that's the pink grapefruit versus the peony. Um, I'm a huge fan of the peony. It's still my favorite color. <laughs> but, but if you want to try the pink grapefruit, it just has a tiny bit more orange than the, than the peony. But it's very, very similar color. All right. Oh, serve deviled eggs. There you go. Have your friends over. Serve deviled eggs. 
and make these. So if anybody has any questions, leave them below. I am happy to answer all of your questions. Um, and we're going to do the houses next. <laughs> I will definitely do the houses since, since it was, you know, a totally even, you know, tie between houses and eight or houses and eights. Yeah, that was right. So we'll do the houses next. And then I'm also, um, I prepped my boards to do the welcome sign because I know a lot of people were interested in that. That's the, the letters that say welcome. And the O on welcome is interchangeable. You can change it out. There's, there is an O, then there's a sunflower, and then there are six other um, different uh, designs like a heart and a shamrock and a star so you can change a snowflake so you can change it out for all the different seasons so that was in my my most recent order so i should i might have that by the end of the week um but even without that i can show you because we have the sunflower and we have the o so i can definitely show you how to do it with with what we have um, but i just finished prepping those boards so again if there's anything else that like you saw in the catalog, <laughs> time to shop, yep. <laughs> I feel like whenever there's a new catalog launch, I'm like, I kind of have to spread myself out. Like every week I order a little bit more. <laughs> um, but uh, if there's anything in the catalog that you see that you're like, ooh, I don't know about this, tell me, I'll try it. Or if you want to see like it looks kind of cool in the, in the catalog but you're not really sure how to execute, um, tell me because I'll order it and I'll try it. I may already have it because I've ordered a bunch of stuff so far. Um, did I wax? I did not wax these. Now, technically they say you're supposed to, um, but I didn't, I didn't. I, I, you know, I broke all the rules. I did not wax them and I, I didn't have any problems. Now, I'm not gonna wipe these off. Um, if you wanted to do it to where you could wipe them off, I would suggest spraying with like a little polycrylic and then waxing and then you can wipe them off and change them out. But I think they look so good. I wouldn't like them off. I think they look so pretty. So if you guys have questions, leave them below. And if not, good morning, Dawn. Um, if not, I will see you guys tomorrow morning. And I hope everyone has a wonderful Tuesday. Bye.